Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, hello, my name is Lupita. Um, I am 21 years old and I am a Christian girl that just wants to share the word of God with you guys and bring you along um, to my life and what I do and what I don't like to do. And yeah, I'll stop there. But anyways, I'm going to discuss what beauty is in the eyes of God. Um, but let's just go ahead and start into prayer um, to really just be led by God. Okay. Lord, thank you so much for allowing me, Father God, to wake up this morning. Thank you, Lord, for being so good. Thank you for being faithful. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you can just guide me, Lord, um, that I can be an encouragement to people, Lord. And I just pray, Lord, that your word penetrates our hearts today, Lord. We love you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Alrighty. Ah! Okay. Sorry, I just made a really weird noise. Before I go into reading scripture, I wanted to share a book with you guys that I have I've only read the first chapter, but but this book is literally so good It's called chosen for Christ and it really just puts your life into perspective How can I find a purpose to really serve others in life? Because I am chosen chosen for Christ get it I really recommend this book. It's like 10 bucks on Amazon um, I'll link it down below Anyways, okay, so let's just go ahead and go straight into the Word of God. We're going to go to 1 Peter 3, 4. It says, But let your adorning be the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which in God's sight is very precious. Okay. I love that. Okay, so this video is going to talk about three different parts of who we are and how to tend to those to feel beautiful okay so i kind of just wanted to start off, start off sharing a like a little bit of who i am a little bit of of my journey to feeling beautiful so growing up i was always told i was very beautiful um my parents friends my friends at school um, you know, just strangers would be like, oh my gosh, like they would tell my mom, like, oh my gosh, she's so pretty and stuff. Um, like her hair, and I used to have like curly hair, now I, I don't really, but, um, your skin is so beautiful, your smile is so beautiful, your eyes, like random stuff. They would always tell me I was beautiful. So I grew up believing that I was beautiful. I grew up, um, you know, with that mindset, like, oh, people think I'm beautiful, like I must be beautiful. Um, and it wasn't until I got to high school where I got my heart broken. Yes, I got my heart broken. And it wasn't until then that I realized that the only reason that I felt beautiful was because I was told beautiful, not because I really felt beautiful. So that was kind of my point of realization where I was just like, I was so broken. Graduating from high school, I went obviously to college. I went to Bible school, LABI. If you guys don't know what LABI is, it's a school that equips you for ministry and you just really learn. Like God just really molds you in that place, let me just say. Um, going there was honestly the best thing that ever happened to me because I really got to find myself. That is the place where I really seeked God intentionally. And that is my first part of, of my points. Um, the first part, take care of your spiritual life, okay? When I was at LABI, I really seeked God um, through chapel and chapels and prayer time. And at first, it was really hard for me because I wasn't really used to, like, praying a bunch. I wasn't really used to, like, like I met Christ at the age of 13, but I didn't know what it was like to have a relationship with him, which is so important because there is a difference between you having a relationship with God and then you just knowing God, knowing that there's a God out there. Because when you have a relationship with God, you're able to just go to him at any time. So I didn't really know what that was like. And then I went to Bible school and I really just, my relationship with God just got so much stronger because I seeked him and because of this. You are a spiritual being. You have to seek God. You have to seek him in his word. You have to seek him in, his, in prayer. So in the midst of my brokenness, I was like 
lord please like help me help me help me like i'm so broken like i was so desperate to just literally feel the presence of god just wrap his arms around me and guys god is very faithful he is always going to be there he listens to every single every single prayer that you have every single tears that you have shed he is listening he is literally listening and i want to really emphasize on that is that if you have any insecurities if you have any anxiety if you have any burdens go to god and seek him go to god and seek him ask him to give you that confidence ask him to really build you up because he will but you have to put your part in too ladies and gentlemen if you guys are watching this read your word read your word pray really spend time with god the second part of it emotionally you are an emotional being okay you have emotions you need to be careful with the people that you are surrounding yourself with surround yourself with people that are going to invest in you surround yourself with people that are going to instill the love of god in you okay a lot of the excuse that I've heard um, where people hang out with just anyone and me I'm very particular with the people that I surround myself with with the people that I hang out with because I want to surround myself with people that are going to benefit my life that are really going to speak good things into my life because a lot of the reasons a lot of the times you don't feel beautiful because you are hanging out with people that aren't bringing anything to your life and that are honestly just lowering your self-esteem there is a time in high school where i felt like that and you know what when i left high school i didn't talk to a lot of people for a long time because i needed to work on myself so that i can go back to them and, pre and preach the word of god <clears throat> to them really take some time to consecrate yourself to set yourself apart and invest in yourself before that you before you can invest in others okay so a lot of people say well jesus hung out with sinners yes he did hang out with sinners but if you read the word of god he hung out with sinners yes he did but he impacted them are you impacting the people that you are you're surrounding yourself with are you allowing the world to impact you more than you are impacting the world third part we need to take care of ourselves physically but first i really want to emphasize on this a beautiful woman is not a body she's a person you need to stop seeing yourself as worthless as just a body that anyone can invade that anyone can take part in no 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 you are so worthy and i want to tell you that you are so worthy god loves you honor god with your body honor god with your modesty with the way that you carry yourself i also want to um touch on the subject of it says your beauty should not come from the outward adornment jewelry or fine clothes rather it should be that of your inner self the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit which is of a great worth in god's sight ladies take this bible verse is not saying to not wear cute tops i love this top it's pink my favorite color but anyways it's not saying don't curl your hair it's not saying don't put lipstick on that's not what it's saying it's just saying have a balanced perspective on what you should be investing in how much time are you investing on reading your word and getting ready are you you does that make sense Feed yourself spiritually first and then the rest is going to come because you feel beautiful if you feel beautiful inside you're going to feel beautiful outside and you're going to want to take care of yourself okay it also says um whether it should be that of a of your inner self and the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit a lot of people have um the wrong perspective the wrong um view on what this um verse says and it's saying god is telling us to be quiet to be silent god is not telling you to be silent being a gentle spirit is a woman who knows she is beautiful and she knows when to speak and when to not speak she is a woman that is bold okay she is a woman that is controlled that she knows who she is that she does not need to speak when she shouldn't speak 
and speak nonsense. She is she has a meek spirit. She is gentle. She is loving. She is kind to those around her. That is what being beautiful is. It is being bold in the way that you carry yourself. Being bold in who you know you are. Which your identity is set on Christ. Okay? She doesn't have these outbursts where she's just like, Well, you know what? You told me this. And no. No, 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 no. No. And you know, that's something that we all have to work on. I personally do have to work on that because I am very passionate about things and sometimes I just go off and then I was like wait that is that I was definitely not having a gentle and quiet spirit I was definitely not being I wasn't being bold I was just being aggressive there's a difference between that ladies take care of yourself take care of the way that you speak to others be kind be loving be gentle pray for others you know she knows how to be tranquil with her emotions, with the way that she carries herself. She doesn't let just any random man come up to her and invade her space. She says, no, no, I am the daughter of the king of kings. I am a princess. I don't engage in that, you know? She goes to this. That is what a beautiful woman is. She goes to her word. She knows that her beauty is found in here. She knows that the word of God fills her. That is what beauty is, being filled inside. I just really want to encourage you guys. I hope this really helped you guys out. I want to encourage you, your, you guys to really seek God intentionally. Well, I want to actually talk about a specific season I was going through um, once I got out of Bible school. I was going through a really terrible season where I felt very lonely and I I had so many people around me, my a loving family, loving friends, you know, but I felt very lonely and I felt like God wasn't um, listening to me and he wasn't speaking to me. And something that I had to learn was that sometimes God puts you in those in those seasons to really grow, to really know what to say to people when they are going through these situations that you have gone through. And I was praying one day and God just told me, Lupita, I am preparing you to speak to others. I'm preparing you. And ever since then, I really see those like rough seasons as training for when I have to go in the battle. Because this is a battle. You know, living here on earth, you're continuously, you know, having a spiritual battle. I'm not talking about battling with people. Don't do that. I'm talking about spiritual battle where you're continuously, you know, having to fight the enemy, you know, not fall into temptation. Um, so I just really want to encourage you guys to seek God. Beauty comes from within. Beauty is having a gentle and quiet spirit, is seeking God intentionally. I really hope that this encouraged you guys. You are beautiful. You are loved. You are precious. You are unique. Ask God, you know, ask God questions. I'm all for that. But just make sure that you wait for the answer and just really seek him.